Welcome, and thanks for coming. Today, we're going to talk about running Node.js applications on Google Cloud Platform. We're going to take a look at Google Cloud, build a few apps, and learn about using Google's advanced APIs and services with your applications. But before we dive in, a little bit about myself. My name is Justin Beckwith, and I'm a product manager here at Google. My contact information is available here, so feel free to reach out at any time if you have questions or feedback about running Node.js applications on Google Cloud Platform. As someone who spent years as a web developer, I've found that there's a lot to like about Node.js. Many developers spend years writing JavaScript for front-end web applications. One of the best parts of Node.js is that it's just JavaScript. The same skills you use to develop applications in the browser can be used to develop amazing applications in the cloud as well. It's easy to get ramped up, as the core of Node.js is very small. Many of the libraries you're going to use are open source and have been developed by the community. Last month, there were over 4 billion packages downloaded through NPM, the Node.js Package Manager. This is a sign of a community that's growing. As the Node.js community continues to grow, it's becoming a great destination for enterprise-focused web applications. Node.js offers a mature API and an LTS release schedule that provides 18 months of support. Over that same time, Google Cloud Platform has also grown and become a great destination for web applications and APIs that need Google scale. Node.js is built on V8, the same JavaScript engine that powers Google Chrome. We have years of experience tuning JavaScript engines to provide incredible performance in the browser. And now, we're helping deliver that same incredible performance in the cloud. Google Cloud Platform is also easy to use. You can bring your code and let us handle the scale and the ops. Finally, we offer a variety of APIs and services that allow you to take advantage of Google's incredible big data and machine learning technology. The same infrastructure and APIs that make it possible to run services like Google Search, Gmail, and Google Photos are all now at your fingertips, helping you bring your applications to life. There are three easy ways to run your applications on Google Cloud. App Engine is Google's powerful, easy-to-use platform as a service. You bring your code, and we'll handle the rest. App Engine will automatically scale your application to handle spikes in traffic, provide no downtime upgrades, and make it easy to take advantage of our advanced diagnostics tools in production. Container Engine is a hosted version of Kubernetes, which brings Google's container orchestration technology to the cloud. It's incredibly powerful for applications that are already built on top of Docker. And finally, if you need complete control and flexibility, Compute Engine offers traditional virtual machines that you can manage and control. Now that we know a little bit about Google Cloud and Node.js, let's build a simple web application and deploy it to App Engine. You can get started using any Node.js framework you'd like, but today we're going to use Express, a very common module used for building web applications and APIs. I'm going to start by scaffolding a new web application using Express. We're going to install our dependencies locally and take a quick look at the app in action. This is a simple application. Now let's get it up and running on App Engine. To get started, you need to create a new project in the Google Cloud Developer Console. I'm going to deploy to a project I created earlier using the Google Cloud SDK. The gCloud Preview App Deploy command will publish your code to Google App Engine, install any NPM dependencies in your package.json, and start your app. Under the hood, we're creating cloud load balancers, virtual machines, autoscalers, managed instance groups, virtual networks, everything you need to build a great performing application with a great SLA. Now that our application has been deployed, let's check it out. I'm going to run gCloud Preview App Browse to take a look at my site in production. And here you have it, a simple Node.js application with Express running on Google App Engine. Now up to this point, we've been using the Cloud SDK to work on our app. Let's take a look at how we can use the Google Cloud Developer Console to help manage it. Here we can see the App Engine dashboard, which provides a heads-up view of our application performance metrics. There's a lot to explore with App Engine, but some of the most useful features I want to talk about today are under the Versions tab in the Developer Console. App Engine makes it easy to simultaneously run multiple versions of your application. This is useful in a few situations. First, it's great for performing no downtime deployments, where you want to test a new version of your app before sending any users to the new deployment. You can see that I have a few versions of this app already deployed. Here's the new version we just deployed and the previous version we were running. 
This is a great feature if you need high availability and no downtime upgrades. In our case, we were routing 100% of our traffic to a new version. But what if you want to gradually rule out your changes? Or what if you want to perform A-B testing and route different users to distinct versions of your application? Traffic splitting makes enabling these kinds of setups simple. As we saw, getting started with Node.js on App Engine is really easy. You can bring your code and let us run it on Google's infrastructure. You can automatically scale to millions of requests per second, and you don't need to have downtime during your deployments. Now you may be wondering, what if I decide to use Container Engine, or I want to move my application on-premise? Well, I've got great news. The same Docker image we use to run your application on App Engine can be used with Container Engine, or Kubernetes, or any other service that can run Docker containers. Our last application was really simple. It was just a single web application with no real backend. In reality, our apps are rarely this simple. They're often more complex because the problems we're trying to solve for our customers are also complex. We need databases like MongoDB, Postgres, or Datastore to store our content. We need message queues for connecting services. We need advanced services like the Cloud Vision API and Cloud ML to help us understand the world around us. We use advanced tools like BigQuery and Dataflow to process millions of records to gain valuable insights on our products. On Google Cloud Platform, you can combine all of these. Google products, open source products, managed services, bring your own, Use what you want to build the experiences that your customers need. When you're ready to take advantage of Google's APIs and services, you can use the G Cloud NPM module. This NPM module gives you access to over a dozen Google APIs and services with more on the way. It works from within App Engine, Kubernetes, Compute Engine, even from applications that aren't deployed to Google Cloud Platform. In my experience, these are the services that make Google magic, containers, the Cloud Vision API, BigQuery, machine learning. We can use these amazing technologies to build applications that serve billions of people all over the planet. Let's take a look at how you can use these to get started. Next, we're going to take a look at a fun little Node.js application that uses the G Cloud NPM module. This app uses App Engine, Cloud Storage, the Cloud Vision API, and Cloud PubSub to analyze images from the internet, separate them into pictures of dogs on the right and cats on the left. So now let's take a look at how we can use these APIs with the G Cloud NPM module to build this kind of application. To store our images, we're using Google Cloud Storage. Cloud Storage provides a scalable file store, great for images, videos, or other large files that you want to keep out of your database. Using the Cloud Storage API is simple. You can even use it to serve static HTTP content. Next up is the Cloud Vision API. Using this simple service with five lines of code, we can detect common labels, landmarks, and even facial expressions within an image almost instantaneously. Finally, we're using Cloud PubSub to send messages between the microservices that make up this application. Cloud PubSub provides low latency, durable messaging between services or devices. Using these APIs, we can take advantage of technology that's been in development at Google for years. Whether it's our machine learning technology, databases, or big data tools, we have services that make building amazing applications fast and scalable. Of course, sometimes you're going to run into trouble. We've all been in a situation where code works great on our machines, but for one reason or another, starts giving us trouble in production. Traditionally, debugging these kinds of problems has been very difficult. But with the Stackdriver Diagnostics tools, we can dig deep into performance and quality issues in production. Let's take a look at Stack Driver Trace in action. In the developer console, I'm going to navigate to the Trace UI. This will show an overview of the overall latency for requests to my HTTP endpoints. I'm going to drill into the Traces view, which provides a detailed breakdown of every single outgoing HTTP and RPC call coming from my app. As you can see, this last request took around 10 seconds. That's a long time. Let's find out why. I can see that we're downloading a lot of images to run through the Cloud Vision API. You can see every request we're making to download images, upload them to cloud storage, and analyze them with the Cloud Vision API. You can even click on a request to get a drill down view that shows the origin of the request in your application source code. This is a great way to diagnose performance issues in production. But what if instead of a performance issue, you're facing a crash? Stackdriver Debugger makes it easy to analyze the state of your application in production. 
The debug console allows you to set breakpoints in your production code. Now, this isn't a traditional breakpoint. When a request hits this code path, we'll analyze the state of your application passively, allowing you to capture state without affecting performance in production. In review, Stackdriver diagnostic tools make it easy to diagnose issues in production. We looked at trace and debug, but there are a variety of other tools at your disposal as well. Today, we covered a lot. We looked at how App Engine is making it easy to operate at Google scale. We looked at using Google's APIs and services to build amazing applications. We diagnosed problems in production. And of course, we talked about how Google Cloud and Node.js are a great match. Everything we looked at today is open source. The Docker images we use to build the Node.js runtime, the G Cloud NPM module, the trace and debug tools, these are all open source and available on GitHub. I'd like to thank you again for coming. And as I mentioned, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. You can learn more about building Node.js applications on Google Cloud Platform at cloud.google.com slash Node.js.